If you have multiple computers in your home, you may find yourself trying to keep your files up to date across all of them. You could go out and buy a pre-configured network attached storage device, or you could use an online service like Dropbox, but these services can end up costing you a lot of money depending on your storage needs. Today I'll show you the simplest way to turn an old computer into a network attached storage device. So here's what you're going to need. An old computer that runs Windows, a home network, a way to connect the computer to that network, a client machine to view the files, a monitor, keyboard, and mouse that you can use temporarily. First, what you're going to want to do is plug in all the cables. Start by plugging in the power and then the network, then connect your monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Now that you have everything connected, you can press the power button, and as soon as the computer turns on, go into the BIOS settings. You can usually see what key to press by looking at your post screen. Now find the power options and set your computer to turn on automatically when it receives power. This way, if the power ever goes out, you won't have to turn your server back on. Now you can save your settings and let the computer boot. Once you're in Windows, create a folder that you want to share. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll make a folder on the desktop. This is where your next step will depend on your version of Windows. In Windows XP or earlier, right-click on the folder and select Properties. Then go to Sharing and check these two boxes. Now that you've got the shared folder set up, you can go to the client computer and test things out. If you're running Windows 7, go to Start, then Computer, and then Map a Network Drive. Then you'll follow the settings, find your computer on the network, and select the folder. Now you can see that folder in My Computer. That's it. Now you have a network attached storage device using only gear that you already own. In the next video, I'll show you how to use a VNC server to access your computer's desktop so you won't have to leave your keyboard and mouse connected.